FNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We had the Dow Industrials finish uh, down 61, NASDAQ off 104, S&Ps off 7. Uh, that being said, folks, bottom line is that you get July 4th week. You know, you had the sign of strength uh, on Friday. It wasn't really, yeah, it was sign of strength. Um, so you can expect that you're going to see higher prices uh, coming right up into Friday. So if we go over to the SPY first and take a look at it, what you're going to see out here, SPY today was down $1.49. You did light volume. You only did a 60 million shares. You know, volume came in the stock market on uh, last Friday, 96 million. I, I suspect this gap's going to get filled. They're going to go after the gap. The gap we're talking about is 401.44 inside the SPY. Inside the NDX 100, we take a look at the three Qs. Uh, the number we're looking for in the three Qs here um, uh, is uh, 299.23 or 292. Now, let's just go over to Apple because we're, we're talking about what Apple had already done today is get up to that gap and he couldn't hold it so this is a major failure on apple's part okay what we did is this you hit the gap the gap is 142.53 so we went to 143.49 he closed below the gap 141.66 the gap had uh 69 million you know did 63 so that's a failure it also went over the highs of Friday, which was 89 million. The high of Friday was $141.91. And guess what? You closed at 141.66. This is a major failure on price and volume. The cool thing here is that it went into the gap and failed. So what you try to do in times like these, when you get, you get gaps down, what you're gonna be looking for is you're gonna be looking for other equities that have got into that gap and they either make it or break it. Now, this is really wild. I, I just, I'm doing this on the fly, but I just pulled up Amazon, right? Amazon got up to 117.98. It closed at 113.22. The bottom line is that the gap had 67 million shares. You did 59. And on Friday, it got over the high of Friday of 116.71. Closed underneath it, same type of setup. That's another major failure on price and volume. So what does that set up, folks? That sets up. It wants to get into the gap up there. And then see ya. Don't want to be ya. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show, folks. Yeah! Don't forget about the Tiger Dollars also. And our man, Mr. Teddy Kagstad, with the new Tiger Forex report. You're going to love it.